transportation packages, demonstration trials. Canada's plan calls for the safe long-term management of used nuclear fuel by centrally containing and isolating it in a deep geological repository. As part of the plan, used nuclear fuel must be transported from interim storage facilities to the repository site. Transportation is expected to begin in the 2040s. Over the years and around the world, transportation packages have been subjected to a number of demonstration trials. These trials are intended to instill confidence in the public that used nuclear fuel can be transported safely. Canada is among many countries to adhere to international standards and to test the safety of these transportation packages. The Nuclear Waste Management Organization will follow and build upon a long global history of safely transporting used nuclear fuel. For over 50 years, more than 20,000 used nuclear fuel shipments have been made worldwide without any serious injuries, health impacts or environmental consequences. For example, a test in 1984 by the UK Central Electricity Generating Board showed that a package designed to meet international standards could withstand being rammed by a locomotive traveling at 160 kilometers per hour. The package remained intact with only superficial scarring. In 1999, the German Federal Institute for Materials Research and Testing exploded a rail tank car filled with propane next to a transportation package for used nuclear fuel. What happened? The exploding rail car directly hit and flipped the package. The package lodged itself into the ground about 10 meters away. While the rail car was destroyed, the transportation package stayed intact, preventing the release of any of its contents. These extreme demonstration trials show the safety and strength of transportation packages designed to move used nuclear fuel safely without releasing contents even under the most severe conditions. Safety is at the core of Canada's plan. Working with regulatory bodies and under international requirements will ensure the protection of people and the environment as used nuclear fuel is transported to the eventual repository site. Dig deeper, learn more by visiting nwmo.ca.